what's in your jar of hearts? Hey guys, it's Lauren, and today I wanted to share with you stuff that I, I guess you would say regret getting, um, stuff that I bought and do not like whatsoever. Now, I don't have very many of those, so this might be a short video, which, um, I'm not sure yet, but, um, yeah, so let's just get started. Uh, first of all, I really do love Victoria's Secrets and their perfumes and all that stuff, but one thing I don't really like, I tried out and I'm not really crazy about, is their Beauty Rush, uh, Apple Teeny Body Double Mist. Now... I don't know why, I just do not like it. It's really oily, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, but it just seems really oily to me. It doesn't stay on at all. Um, and I don't even know why I got apple teeny, because I don't like apples. What was I thinking? Well, I love apples as eating, but not like the smell, like the artificial smell. Like, I don't know. So, does not last. Um, very oily, and I don't know why I got it. So, maybe I'll give it as a gift. Next is um, these little e.l.f. liquid eyeliners. They come in a three-pack. Um, one is black, silver, and I don't know what color this is. It's like a brown-purple. Is there a name to this one? I don't think so. But, okay. e.l.f. is a very cheap uh, brand, as in money-wise. And um, these were only $3 for all three of these. And I can see why. No offense. Like, um, I haven't tried very many e.l.f. things, but uh, what I've heard is some of their stuff is actually pretty good for the price that they paid for it. But these, ugh, I don't, ugh, <laughs> dramatic. But um, I just do not like this tip. I don't know why. It's very harsh. Like, I don't know, harsh? I don't know. Here, let me show you. So... And it's not, it's, um, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a foam, really hard foam tip. Next is something I didn't buy, but it's a Maybelline, um, Cool Effects Cooling Shadow Liner? I don't know. My mom had this. She gave it to me, so I tried it out. And it doesn't really go on. And watch this. Ready? That was the eyeliner. Now, I don't know about you, but I want to use the stick, too, to put on my um, eyeliner. So, not a very good thing here. <laughs> so, okay. Last thing is not something I regret buying, but something I brought home and was very mad about. Now, it wasn't the product itself. It's what somebody did to the product when it was in stores. So I come home, oh and this is also on my haul, my last haul video from Target, um, there's OPI and something else, I forget, Clinique. And so uh, it's this Revlon um, cream eyeshadow and I was like okay cool I want to try this out, it's neutral colors, I love it. And after I made the video I opened it up not even not even noticing that the seal was broken, which partially my fault. Opened it up, and there it was. Uh, people putting their fingers into the eyeshadows, the cream eyeshadows, and me getting really mad because who does that? Like, and putting it back. You don't. You're not even buying the product and putting your fingers in it. Now, I don't know who put their fingers in this. I don't want to know where their fingers have been. Maybe they haven't been washed for how many years? I don't know. And they put their finger in it and put it back. Now, I was planning to use this. Obviously, I bought it. And now I can't. So I have to take this back, go to Target, take it back, and um, get my refund or switch it out. So very mad about that. I was all excited about using it. Um, by the way, my Maybelline one that I bought, love it, I've used it, that isn't someone else's fingers, it was one of my brushes, which I'd rather that be my brush than someone else's nasty fingers. So, um, that's pretty much it. Usually, I actually, um, actually, I've been saying actually, actually a lot. Um, I really, okay, this is what I do, I don't know if you guys do this too, um, I go into the store, I see something that I like, not something I need, 
But what I like, and sometimes I'll splurge a little bit, but I'll carry it around the store for a little bit, and by the end of the shopping time, I'm like, hmm, do I really need this? Uh, will I use this? I'll just ask all myself these questions and really think about it. And if I don't want it, if I just think, well, you know what, maybe I don't need this. I don't need to spend my money on this. I can spend it on something else more useful. So I'll put it back. Or if I convince myself, oh, you'll use this this time, this time, this time, um, I'll buy it and love it. But when people put their fingers in it, um, makes me a little mad. So um, tell me if that has ever happened to you and tell me your little story on that because it really does make me mad as I have stressed a lot in my video now. So, okay, well, that's pretty much um, my rant on that. So, oh, and tell me stuff that you regret buying or brought home and didn't like it. So, yeah. So, you guys have an awesome, 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 awesome um, week. <laughs> okay, I'm crazy, so goodbye. <laughs> And tearing love apart You're gonna 